real quick. You know, Primerica is a unorthodox type company. It's not um, a normal corporate company, even though we have a home office and we're publicly traded. It's not a normal financial services company. Um, and the unique thing about it is this is, a, and you'll hear this a lot if you've been here, this is a volunteer market. You guys are showing up you're not paid to come here okay. now you may have submitted to some form of accountability whether it's your goals or your routine or you have a vision and you feel like hey you know this this is helping me reach whatever you're trying to reach but it's not something where you know we dangle paychecks in front of you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we threaten you, right? Jen, <laughs> Jen toes the line. <laughs> uh, but, right, so I'm speaking only for myself, not any of the other leaders in here. They, might, they do their own thing. Um, but, you know, the area is you shouldn't be getting threatened. Okay. <laughs> so I have a hotline for you. <laughs> He's like a, um, so how do we create this volunteer army? I, I'm, I'm telling you right now our theme for the next year is going to be meeting attendance. Yes. That's, that's what we're trying to focus on is getting people back. And we, we've done a good job, but you know, really growing. Okay. Um, and I'm proud of you guys. I mean, the meetings are growing, the op meetings are growing, our licensing is growing. Uh, but for everybody, okay, and I'm, I'm talking to the people here, the, the RVPs, the regional leaders for sure. If you want to get to the next level, and I don't care about your title, I'm talking about rings, I'm talking about accolades, accomplishments. It's not happening with the size of the team that you have right now. Everybody, everybody, okay? It's not, you're not going to make significant progress unless we grow our team. And so there's some fundamentals about growing a volunteer army, right? And some of them you know, um, you know, obviously you gotta show up first and you know, you gotta be consistent and all those things. But um, it's funny, Samir and I know this guy um, and he works for Morgan Stanley, uh, he's a friend of ours. We've known him for several years. He was telling me the other day you know, that he, he got promoted to um, managing director for like the area. He's like big time. And now, what is he? What was his assets under management? Uh, before the market went up, it was uh, five hundred million. Yeah, so it was like over half a billion. That's what I was the number I was going to say. Samir knows probably the number. But I mean, this guy, you know, one of his clients is a corporate client, they have like 200 million, right? And um, so he was telling me some things and I was like, oh, so, you know, what, what's going on with your team? How, you know, because he, he has a group but now he's like managing like a, a, a much bigger team and he was just telling me, he's like, you know, um, people are coming in and they're coming into the office but he goes, but they have these terrible Zoom habits. Yes. I go, like, what do you mean? He goes, like, they'll come in, but they don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> I was like, oh, that sounds like me. <laughs> corner they never want to have any interaction leave me alone this is what he said he literally made and this is not like an animated person so I could tell when he like did this charade explaining to me like it was really like weighing on him he was, he was like, leave me alone 
and, and we kind of do that, right? We kind of like don't want to be bothered because we think we're working from home, right? And working from home for many of you means hiding because you're not really working. I'm not knocking you, and I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to denigrate you, I promise you. I just know because that's how I am. Right? It's like my kids, don't bother. I ain't doing shit. What do you mean don't bother? What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? I'm working at home. That's like an oxymoron. It doesn't work. It's like jumbo shrimp or a good job. It doesn't. No, you can't work from home. It's like home is like a cesspool of distractions. It's all it is. But it's funny. He said they're bringing those habits into the office. And then, so then I went on some rabbit holes the whole weekend. I was thinking about some things. And it led me to kind of create, not create, but just think about this topic. Okay. Um, high energy. That's what I want to talk about today. Energy. being a person of high energy. Energy creation, right? You ever meet these people and they give you energy, you feel like, man, I feel like I had a shot of espresso, man. I wanna go work out. I wanna go run on the treadmill. I wanna go make a phone call. I wanna go get better. And then there's energy draining. You ever meet these people, you need a nap after you talk to them? <laughs> <laughs> Woo, I need a rest. I'm out. Let me decompress here. Because you have just drained me of all my energy. High, and I want you to write this down. High energy is a choice. Okay. And science, physics, physics says human energy is composed of four things. Body, mind, emotions, and spirit. Okay, and this is not going to get weird, okay? <laughs> but I just want you to know there's a science to this, like literally a science to this. This is physics. <laughs> you know, it's, it's weird because having kids, you know, Kids are, you know, they're toys without batteries. That's what they like. just require. You guys always got to give your energy. Always, 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 always. And so it's just a natural thing. It just, you know, just you got, you know, because they're they're emotional. They're up and down, and you know all these things. They're they're tired. They're fatigued. They they get cranky. They're they're you know. And so you gotta, you know, sometimes you gotta be a calming presence. Sometimes you gotta get them going, sometimes you gotta get them excited, you know, all these things. And, and that has always come a little natural for me because I've been in this business. They say that Steve Jobs had the best energy transference. That that was what he was most known for is that he would give you these feelings when you'd be with him. No, one-on-one, -on -one, you'd be like, wow. Like there's a quote, it says, he made me feel like I was the only person in the world. And just so you know, right, like Steve Jobs was a billionaire before there were billionaires. Now they're all over the place, awesome, that's a testament to you know, success and all, but Steve Jobs is like, like the OG. And they're, they, now, obviously, he's passed on. They're saying that what was known about him, obviously, his innovation and his thinking and his marketing, but 
he was a person of high energy. You know, all these little, um, these like, you know, you see these things, wealth con, and you know, my son's into the Marvel things where they have all these comic cons and Marvel things. That was, Steve Jobs did those things. He was the one that had the Apple conference and where he'd release the products and he'd come out in his black suit, you know, the turtleneck and the black and white, all that stuff. That was him. That was a, he, he st that was an op meeting. That's what that was. Now, all these companies have followed suit on what he was doing. And they're saying his energy and the amount of preparation he'd go into those reveal meetings and how he'd be. That's like a concert for tech nerds. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, you see these Taylor Swift concerts, these Renaissance. Yeah. Steve Jobs did that for tech nerds. And they're saying he was a person of high energy. You've heard this, right? It's not, people don't remember what you say to them. They remember how you made them feel. <clears throat> energy creators breathe life into a room. I, I know this, is, this sounds very dramatic, I, but I want you to understand this because... People are sizing you up. You're trying to get people here. You're trying to get people to answer your phone calls. You're, you, I'm serious. You're trying to get people to set an appointment. You're trying to get people to move. They breathe life into a room. You feel a little more alive when you interact with them. Energy drainers, they suck the life out of a room. You feel drained. You feel burdened to create energy because they've taken it out. All right, so I, I made a list of things. Now, this, I, I found a list, okay, of things that create negative energy in people's lives. Okay, this is a like a list that I found. I don't know the science behind this. Um, I agree with a lot of these things, um, but it's, it's just very random. Okay, number one, toxic relationships. This is a study of what creates, what drains energy from people. Okay. Number one, toxic relationships. Number two, too much caffeine. Looking for the eye contact here. <laughs> Sheila looks confused and drained. somebody like Xander, right, who I talk to, you know, pretty regularly, right, through phone, call, whatever, right, um, you can get a, away with a lot of things when you're younger, and I'm not saying that to, like, show my age or even act, but I'm saying, you know, like, try to get, maybe eliminate some of these things, because you can do whatever, you can do, I, I don't, I, I don't even know what I was doing when I was young, I don't even know how I had any energy. Like, one day a week, I pulled an all-nighter. 
you know? Like, if I did that now, I'd die. I'd be in the hospital. <laughs> like, check me in. I'm in the ER. I'm in urgent care. What happened? Uh, I just didn't sleep. You know, nothing <laughs> major happened. It's just I didn't get my eight hours, you know, I'm in the hospital. Right? So, but, but if you can build this, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, you know, I don't know what it costs you, right? So, four, scrolling. And I find this to be true because there are definite times, like you guys know, if you guys know anything about me, right? Like I'm not like an all go person. I like to kind of, I like to veg out. Like I like to watch a movie. I like to sit back. I like to put a blanket on and, you know, just watch something. <laughs> but it's funny, if I ever do that, I actually do feel tired. Yeah. I'm like, what did I do? Like I, I, I am pretty active as a person. I have my kids, I'm with them, I, I fit, I'm physically active, at least two, three times a week, I, I'm working out. But sometimes when I sit and I'm just watching television or a movie, I'll feel drained. How does that happen? Because it's weird what drains your energy. Sometimes too much sitting, sometimes too much scrolling, junk food and sugar. Six, gossip. <clears throat> Seven, trying to control things you can't control. You know, that's why the news is always so negative. Because none of those things you can have an impact on. There's not one thing you can actually have an impact on. You're just consuming it. Eight, traffic. <laughs> this is on the list. Wow. You're so fired up to get home from work, and there's a little accident. It took you an extra 20 minutes. Whole evening's ruined, and you're tired, and you're frustrated. Trying to fix other people's problems. Ten, sitting, sitting. Eleven, procrastination followed by stress. Is that true? You wait till the last minute to do something. You're in a rush, you get a ticket, you get stressed out. You almost get in an accident. You miss a deadline. Because you procrastinated. Followed by stress. 12. FOMO. Fear of missing out. This is what they're saying. 13. Changing others' opinions of me. Fourteen, endless people pleasing. Okay, so then I tried to come up with some things that I've noticed, which was actually very hard for me to do because I think that high energy is probably easier to model than actually describe, right? Like I can see somebody that has, has high energy, it's easier for me to notice than actually put it to writing and see, right? And I'm not, I always remember this, and, I, and, I, and I'll use Jenna as an example, because she's probably the most visual person here. You don't, misconceptions about energy, you don't need to be loud. <laughs> and I'm being serious when I say that. Okay, because sometimes you think, well, I, I, you know, I, I get it, Jen, 
kind of like a megaphone always, <laughs> right? Like every time. And you think that, well, no, that's, that's not it. Now, I think there are some things that need to be uniform, but don't think that because I, I don't have the same personality as Jen. I don't even have the same personality as Samir. Samir and I grew up together. Same school, same neighborhood. He's a couple years younger than me, so he kind of would always come with me, right? I was the one that drove early, you know, but we're different. We have, the diff we have different behaviors, different demeanors, different ways of expressing, I'll use in this, high energy, right? I feel like me, I'm a, a little bit more even keel. I'm not saying from him, I'm saying just in general, right? I'm just kind of in the middle. But I think that I am a high energy individual. Now, can I get better? Absolutely. Am I? Do I have some things on the list that are stupid that are probably not probably are draining my energy, right? Like, I looked at the junk food and sugar, right? That that was a never a thing for me. But like, I'm going really strong with that for the last two years, like really strong. Like, I'll eliminate something, then pick up something brand new. And this thing, this habit for me is very hard to kick, right? But I'm thinking like, yeah, you know what? After eating eight Milano cookies in a row, I don't <laughs> like, you know, my stomach hurts, I got a, you know, terrible gas, and uh, you know, I just want to lock myself in the room and be depressed, and then do it again the next day. <laughs> right? I'm being serious, like when I say these things, like, yeah, I could cut these out. So I added some more things to the list on energy drain. Okay, number one, complaining. Yeah. Always complaining. Something's always wrong. You would do it differently. You know, get one person here. Then teach me how to run the meeting. Get five people here. Contribute financially to the meeting. And I'm not even saying that in a mean way. I'm just saying, you'll see the level of skill it requires. You know, you, you hear this a lot, but it's true, man. Like, man, do I have an amount, immense amount of respect for my parents now. Because they really showed me what great parenting is. Dealing with a kid like me, because I, I mean, if my son's like me, I tell Samir, if my son's all, I mean, I'm, I'll have a mugshot. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be able to do it the way, you know. But because I have perspective now on having children, I understand now, man, my parents were free, right? So, complain. Another one, constant supervision. You know, Samir and I were talking about that. Man, that's draining. I don't want to supervise you all the time, man. I got my own children. Show me that you have some independence. You can do some things, things on your own. You have some ingenuity. You can try to figure things out. You know, it was awesome. Like, and even for me, right? Like when, I, when this lady was doing the Zoom training and she showed all those resources, I was like, man, I'm asking all these stupid questions. Like, it's all right there. They got quick, quick reference guides. They got cheat sheets. They got hotlines. They got cell phone numbers. Like they got, they know a million times more than I do. And you guys have access to it, which is great. We all can learn together. Except responsibility. And so here are some things I think for us, okay, that we can, we can, um, that, that gives me energy. Number one, movement. And I'm talking about in the office. I'm not talking about physical weightlifting. I don't care. Okay, I don't care about that. Do I think it's good? Yes, I do. Do I think that you should exercise? Absolutely. You know, they, 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 they say that exercise is one of the only things that can change your state immediately, besides drugs. <laughs> wow. Right? Like, if you are exercising, puts oxygen in your brain, it gives you a dopamine rush, an endorphin rush, right? All those things. 
the breathing. So I do think that. But I'm not, like, in the office, I want to see people moving around. We have these meetings, right? I don't want you to see, what are you doing glued in front of your, what, what are you doing, checking your email? Get on the phone, call people, you know, interact with people. That's, that's when, when people come into our office, that's what they're going to see. You guys breaking down policies, you making a call, you fist bumping, high fiving, introducing other people to other people. Obviously, we do that a little bit, but we can work on it more. Where people just want to come. <laughs> Movement creates energy. And I absolutely want to see that in the office. You know, it's funny, like, we go to uh, prayer on Friday. When I say that to Samir and I, we go to prayer on Friday. And it's, 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 it's just, it's, you know, it's a volunteer army there too, right? And we go, and we go for about, and it's Friday, right? So it's not Sunday. It's, it's a work day. So people are coming during their lunch. People are coming during a break. Many of them don't have time. They have to go to work. They have to pick up their kids. Everybody's busy. This is the D.C. metro area. It's interesting to see how because right after prayer, you have people's attention. They're trying to get people, they're trying to say these announcements. And they want to get you to sit in your seat because everybody's just like, gone. Right? Because once you're gone, you're gone. But they're saying, hey, we have a fundraiser coming up. We have this, we have that, we have that. Because if we're there and then we start interacting with people and we hang out there, we'll patronize the food drives and the coffee shop and we'll donate more and we'll sign up to volunteer. It's just, it's crazy to see. It's the same thing. Because if we stay there and we're moving around and doing things, people will put their money and their time and their effort into the community. So when you guys, and I get it, you guys have stuff to do. I, I'm not, and you've come here, awesome. But maybe hang out here a little bit longer. 30 minutes. Make a call, have a list. Reach out to people. Go through a policy. Use the meetings, which I know are incredible, and I'm talking about the training, and I know the op meeting is effective, and they have guests and they're excited. Use this to get stuff done. We're here three, four days a week. When you're here, make it count. Two. This gives me energy. You know, when I deal with people, and I was thinking about the people that I enjoy talking to. I mean this. And I'm not saying if I don't enjoy talking to you, I'm not making that down. I'm not saying that. I mean that. I'm just saying, like, where it's noticeable. They're curious. That gives me energy. When people want to know, and I'm not talking about no, like, hey, you know, if I talk to Xander. Xander's not calling me saying, hey, what's the meaning of life? I'm going to hang up on you. <laughs> Man, don't do that, by the way. I know. I feel like that might be a question coming soon. Um, but, you know, hey, man, I was talking to this guy. This is what happened. What could I do better? And he wants to know. And then, or other people, right, they want to know. Hey, what happened? What about this? What about that? And they, they're, like, they have this intellectual curiosity. Not a curiosity just to waste my time. I hate people like that. I can't stand that. No one likes that. Three, people that have a growth mindset. What do I mean by that? They're always trying to try new things. You know how good it feels? I, I, I can say this for, you know, somebody says, you know, hey, man, um, I sent, you know, after Shondell's training on LinkedIn, I sent out 20 messages. I got three. I'm like, well, good for you. And it's not you listened and you're smart. It's like you had a growth. This is not something you were comfortable. You tried something new. You got a result. You're excited about it. Yeah. That is a growth mindset. That's somebody that doesn't have a self-limiting, oh, no, I don't have any followers on LinkedIn. Or I don't know this on Facebook. Or I'm not, I, I've never talked to anybody. I don't like people. It's cold. I don't know anybody here. I can't set any appointments. It's, it, <laughs> nothing drains you more than just endless limiting beliefs. I'm not saying you got to have all the beliefs in the world, right? Like Xander, 
you ain't going to the NBA. You're not that good, okay? You can't jump very high, and your jump shot is terrible, okay? That's true. That's a fact. <laughs> it's not a me, okay? So I want, you know, I'm sorry I have to do want to tell you the fact, but that's true. Okay, but yes, you can make some phone calls and get a recruit. Okay. I'm, I'm joking here. I want you to have awareness. I'm not saying that you can't question things, but everything, everything, I can't do this, I can't do it. Well, why don't you tell me what you can do then? Right. Right. Tell me what you can do. What do you like doing? Internally motivated, dude. Nothing gives people energy like people that are freaking motivated. Mm -hmm. You meet people that are busy, that are making it happen, that have a can-do attitude, that just have these goals, and they're just, they're, you, you can just, their face shows determination. What are you doing? I'm going to If they're not going to quit, I'm not going to quit. You know, and I know that this is not people, and I, I know I'm jumping around here. There's a guy that, I, I shouldn't have even said that, because I didn't want to even say that, but there's somebody that comes into the training right now. He, this person comes here. I'm not saying he comes every time, but he comes. He has cancer right now, you never tell. You could never tell. Always smiling, great attitude. Never talks about it. In this group, not this group, but in our team, has cancer right now. So, you know what kind of energy? How am I not going to show up? This person doesn't live around the corner either. What excuse you got? What do you have going on at your home? Somebody investing their time coming here. So movement, curious, growth mindset, internally motivated. And for me, and this is just the way I'm wired, I'm not saying it for other people, but what gives me energy is when I see people that are consistent. Because I just, I love people that do grunt work. I love people that, they love the nasty. They love showing up. They love setting appointments. They love, they don't, they love the, the process. They, everybody loves, loves the sexy part of success. They love the accolades. They love the money. They like the social media. They like walking the stage. But I like the people that are grinding that are making the phone calls, that are showing up to the, to the office, that are bringing guests, that you know, are reading the books. To me, like that's inspiring. And that gives me energy. Because, right, like, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio said, and, and you know what, let me look it up. I don't want to botch the quote. It's a really good quote. Just, I didn't think that this guy was this deep. Um, every next level of your life will demand a different you. Every next level of your life will demand a different you. Okay? And our theme already, I want you to know, is going to be people coming here. And so we need a culture. We need a culture of culture drivers. We need high energy individuals. So when we get the right people, they want to be here. And I'm not saying you got to be like other people that you see. But just be better. Just be a better you. Just be a higher energy you. 
if you're doing some things that, you know what, man, you know what? I'm a complainer. I'm just not going to say it. I might have the thoughts. I might even journal it. Let it out. Don't tell other people. I'm not going to backbite. I'm not going to gossip to other people. I'm going to show up on time. I'm going to dress a little better. I'm going to move around when I come. I'm going to, I make a commitment after the meeting, I'm going to stay for 30 minutes. That's it. Just 30 minutes. And I'm going to make some calls. If you can put down a few things that will create more energy, because I actually do believe that. I do. I believe, what is it? Body, mind, spirit, emotions. I actually do believe that. And I'm not like a Pollyanna weird person. I mean, like I know, like, you know, Samir's weird like that. You know, like, hey, you know he'll call me, yeah, yeah, I feel like we're on the same frequency show. <laughs> hey, man, I feel, hey, you feel that vibration? You feel that vibration? The vibration at the bottom is just incredible. That's him. I'm not like that. <laughs> I don't know, but the frequency is off. <laughs> but I do believe in that there's some physics to energy. And, and, and I'm not, I'm, I wasn't always like this. And I'm not saying I'm great. At it. I'm a lot better than I was. And I can even get better. Because if you want to build a team, if you want to attract clients, if you want to get the right people, if you want to and also just feel better, right, which I want to do. You know, I think that some of these things are important. So um, we're going to have a great December, all right? And we're going to have a great 2024. And we have a lot of great things happening. You know, November, I was very happy for some of you guys. Uh, we'll celebrate.